All right, welcome back to Open Line right here on News Channel 5 Plus. I'm Casey Mason, hosting Ask the Expert tonight, and I have the experts sitting right next to me. We've got Amy and Jessica from Creekside at Three Rivers Assisted Living with Memory Care joining us, telling us all about assisted living and the difference between that and memory care, and really just the way to approach this conversation with a loved one and the overall quality of life that they do end up receiving. Mm -hmm. sure. Let's talk a little bit about the families. You know, maybe we have a loved one that has joined your community at Creekside, whether it's memory care or assisted living, which is more independent, just senior housing. Um, and tell me a little bit about the reactions. Maybe if, if they, they you know, drop mom off and she come back in a week or so to visit, see how things are going. What do you see and hear them say? So often they'll say, well, mom just likes to sit in her recliner and watch TV. That's probably all she'll ever do. And they get here and she's out, she's laughing, she's having a fun, she's made this group of friends, she's wanting to go to all the events and all of the outings. She's getting around better, she looks healthier, she looks happier, she's cleaner, her hygiene is better. And a lot of times it just blows their mind. Mm -hmm. They just had no idea that mom could be that happy again. Yeah, we get a lot of tears. Um, I would, what we do is we have a care plan 30 days after someone moves in and we invite the families to come uh, to sit down and just talk about the progress or the decline. It can happen there as well from day one to day 30. And we get tears and tears of joy and just happiness to see. And I think some of it is tears of joy to see how great mom's doing, but tears of joy to know that they don't have to worry about them anymore um, because they were up all night worried about how they're doing. Are they safe at home? Did they get, eat dinner tonight? So all of those things. Obviously, for each of you, this question, how rewarding is that? Oh, I love it. Yeah, that's why it I do makes it I worth do. all the trouble. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> how do you continue to keep the family in the loop and make them feel like they're still a part of mom or dad's life? Um, we meet with the families very, very frequently. When you first move in, I will meet with both the resident and the family. Then again, after 30 days, and then again, we meet quarterly. Um, every 90 days we meet to make sure that your loved one is getting the care that they need, that we are providing quality care and um, any concerns or questions that the family may have. Um, we communicate a lot with the families. And we have an open door policy too, and Jessica I know gives her cell phone number out, our executive yes. director gives his cell phone number out. So we're firm believers in, if you have something we need to talk about, I need to know right now. Mm -hmm. like, we can't fix it if we don't know it. So, um, and that might be something as simple as, mom's had a dirty towel on the floor or mom's doing great. We need to know those things. It's wonderful um, that they feel that they can call our team and, and let them know. Very important mm -hmm. to provide that. Right. Okay, earlier in the show you were telling me about summer's here, so we're having some fun at Creekside. Tell yes. us about some summer events that are coming yeah. up. Um, we are having a summer solstice celebration on July 25th at, from 4.30 to 7.30. Um, it is an Alzheimer's fundraising um, celebration. So we're charging $15 at the door. We're having a 50-50 raffle, auction items, uh, cover band, open bar, food, everything. So uh, we encourage everyone to come. We've invited the community. It's a great time to see the community, to learn more about what's going on, and also to get back to the Alzheimer's Association. So you're having fun but also fundraising. That's Correct. incredible. Mm -hmm. Any other summer activities? I know Fourth of July is around the corner. Maybe watching some fireworks. Oh yeah. We're, we're always there's always something. There's I'm always blown, something. blown away. <laughs> we always are we're always having a party. Um, themed lunches, themed dinners. Uh, we had a Mother's Day tea, a Father's Day Sunday party. Um, so we're always doing something within the community. We go on a lot of outings. Every Wednesday they take a drive to Bell Buckle to get ice cream and then they just do a little leisurely drive back to our community. So we do a lot of really fun things. They're, as they say, living their best lives. Yes, definitely. <laughs> we can get the information up as well. Uh, if you're wondering about Creekside, maybe some things we've talked about tonight, of course their website and their phone information and where they're located. There it is right there on your screen. Again, we're talking with Amy and Jessica, some friends of ours uh, from Creekside at Three Rivers Assisted Living. That's there in Murfreesboro, Tennessee. It's a beautiful area, very scenic. You all take a shuttle sometimes into the town, do some shopping. There's the address right there on your screen. Uh, you can always pop in for a visit anytime. They actually encourage that, which says a lot. There's the phone number there on the screen as well. If you ever want to give them a call, maybe you 
didn't want to call into tonight's show. That's okay. We understand. Give them a call, though, maybe tomorrow. Uh, there's their website, CreeksideAssistedLiving.com. And I can tell you personally, folks, that website is something to check out because uh, I've, you know, I've visited a couple times in preparation for our shows with you. And, you know, you have everything you need to know up there from getting started to having the conversation. You can really even just tour the facility. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. And what's really fun, too, is you allow residents to customize their apartments over in the assisted Correct. living mm -hmm. site, which is different than memory care. Mm -hmm. But in assisted living, you really are getting just this great place to live. As I said, you can bring your pets. Right, <laughs> That's very yeah. important to me. And, you know, just a lot of activities. The fun never ends. Right, it doesn't. And um, like like you said, I would, we'd love to have you come in for a tour. Um, visit our Facebook page, Creekside at Three Rivers Assisted Living, just to see what's going on in the community from day to day. Um, we do have a virtual tour on our website if you can't make it in. And you just click through the different rooms so you get to see the community that way. And I'm always available Jessica's available if you need have any nursing questions that I can't answer I'm not a nurse so um, I always direct those towards Jessica but we'd love to have you come in what's something that you guys get asked a lot that you kind of like to clear the air on or maybe a misunderstanding or just something that while we have you here on the show tonight that you would like to maybe discuss um, we're not a nursing home that is the that's, biggest thing. <laughs> that is, that's the biggest thing. Yeah, um, we, we're far, far from a nursing home. Um, we are independent. We have activities. We're lively. Um, our residents have fun. They have a lot of fun. Not that you can in a nursing home. Not saying that. It is a great environment as well. But we're all about enhancing life, um, enjoying life, and, and having fun. And yeah. helping you remain independent for as long as possible. Yeah. How's it different to you? Um, you know, when you say it's, it's not a nursing home, you chimed in there a little bit more to that <laughs> it, from it your is, perspective. Because just this is their home, this is their apartment, they live here. We are trying to develop a community um, to where you can move here and you can make friends and you can do things. I kind of feel like in the nursing home, you've just got your little room and you lay in your little hospital bed. And, and how depressing is that? Yeah, you know, it is. And Jessica, with you being director of nursing, I, I wonder too, what's something that you wish families knew really from your perspective there every day? You're in it, you're helping these folks. What do you want people to know watching the show tonight? Um, that, that we want everyone to remain independent, that it's not for us to do everything for everybody. We're just here to help whenever you need help. Um, again, we're not necessarily a medical facility. We're happy to help you manage your health care, but we can't really provide medical treatments. I think the biggest thing too from coming out um, from outside this industry and working with nursing is um, the medication management is the biggest thing. Um, that helps families and residents so much. We know that your loved one's getting their medication at the time that they need it. Um, they're not dropping their pills on the floor, all of those things. So. Wonderful. All right, well, one more quick break right here on Open Line. We'll be right back. Thanks.